The emergence of BBC Verify as a new fact-checking powerhouse within the BBC underscores both a commitment to transparency and an array of criticisms, particularly from media analysts like Dave Rose and former BBC figures like Danny Cohen, that, and, and frankly me. Uh, only the other day I was ringing up the BBC because I was worried about, what, what should we call it, copying plagiarism, uh, grabbing a story without attribution or acknowledgement. And, you know, the days have gone by and I've still not had a proper response. It, it is extraordinary how arrogant and how self-serving the BBC has become. Since its inception in mid-2023, BBC Verify has not only deployed forensic journalism and open source criticism, open source intelligence, O-S-I-N-T, to scrutinise contentious events, but has also commanded significant resources, including a 3.2 million salary budget. And despite these resources, its reputation has been marred by recurring corrections, high-profile errors, and allegations of partiality. One incident in Humberside during the riots followed the Southport murders, um, which, uh, and, and this exemplifies, verifies challenges with accuracy. Initially categorizing an altercation as racially charged, involving an angry mob targeting men of Asian heritage, Verify later amended its article to clarify that the individuals involved were actually Eastern European. And this prompted questions about the rigor and the oversight of Verify's reporting, particularly as other simpler approaches might have prevented such an error. The question of bias also arises. Critics suggest Verify exhibits a selective focus on certain geopolitical issues, notably scrutinising Israel more rigorously than Palestinian groups, and this perception amplified by reliance on politically charged sources in reports on the Middle East, for example, calls into question Verify's objectivity, especially in a climate where BBC departments face budget cuts and redundancy risks. Further, Verify's emphasis on headline-grabbing stories such as examining Instagram-generated forgeries sometimes leans towards the trivial, suggesting a prioritisation of visibility over substance. As budget constraints continue, and with Verify consuming significant resources, questions must loom about whether its blend of investigative methods and visible branding adds enough value to justify its considerable financial and human capital costs.